Okay, first question, here goes. Peter Mullins. What do you think about the Women's World Cup coverage? Impressive? Yeah, I think uh, for me this year, I've sat at home in Australia for the last five years, trying to find something on, on social media and waiting for it to hit. Um, you know, cycling news at night on, on a piece of paper sort of thing. So this year to see the coverage and to see myself and the girls and it's pretty exciting. You love your laptop, don't you? Yeah, I, I like mm. to look at pictures of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Willemsen, who is your favourite artist? I like different, on oh, different music. Eurovision? I like Eurovision song contest. <laughs> no, you are joking. Yeah. It's only said that the reason I don't like it is because I'm jealous we can't be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. Which is your favourite World Cup and why? I think um, even if I have never had a great result, I think it's Flanders. Because um, it's just the atmosphere there and the crowds of people and uh, I just like it. It's, yeah. it's, it's special for sure. Okay, let's move swiftly on. Georgia. Yeah? <laughs> How do you beat Voss in a sprint? <laughs> I think uh, when she's in a really good shape, and I beat her, like in the world, I think because she do a mistake for the sprint and just uh, I take uh, the right moment for uh, began my sprint and it was perfect. Okay, who adjusts their bike the most? Emily actually, just being going crazy with the saddle height. Funny story uh, actually, color? last year I got sent the wrong size bike. I was on Laura's frame and I, thought, <laughs> and I got on it and I was thinking, <laughs> Something doesn't feel right, and I got my mum to video me, and I sent it to my boyfriend, and I was like, Matt, there's something not wrong with this bike. There's something wrong with it. What is it? And he's like, It's about three sizes too small for you. I was like, That's pretty bad to admit, to be fair. But um, we're just talking about you. Laura Trot has arrived. Oh, it's like room four or two to see this. But she's got a bit of a funny voice, so bear with her. I think she, what is it you've been suffering with? Laryngitis? Yeah, well, I had a chest infection to start with, thanks to Joanna Rousel. And then I had laryngitis. I think you sound quite nice, actually. Oh. I think it's quite... You sound like a teenager when this is voice. Take two. I've heard you're pretty addicted to chocolate. Mm -hmm. How long could you go without it? Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest nope. you've been without it? About well, 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like an energy source. <laughs> <laughs> no, the next race we on turn up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we took Laura's advice, it's not working. We're going backwards, help. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever, or you've experienced by a fan, maybe on Twitter or within a race? Um, a crazy fan? Some or... man gave me a whole chicken. <laughs> Uh -huh. Like a raw chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Luxembourg last year. A man weeing on the side of the road. Into the road as we were riding past. Oh. No joke. Oh, disgusting, yeah. No joke. I wouldn't call it a fan. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> What's it like sharing with me most of the time? Oh, good, but you stink. <laughs> <laughs> of flowers, obviously. <laughs> Have you ever had an emergency on your bike? Um. No, I think so. We've had some pretty close encounters yeah, again yeah. on the bike. We don't. We you don't know, do some man at a roundabout the other day, he was like, so he like turned left on me and Jason, we're just riding in pairs. And we were up alongside him and was like, what's your problem? And he was like, I just don't like bike riders. <laughs> I was like, that must be guilt. How about I drag you out of your cars? How do you feel? <laughs> we were talking before about people who adjust their bikes the most. Do you think you would notice if someone adjusted your bikes or shoes? Oh yeah, um, shoes. shoes. Probably not <laughs> shoes. I don't know. It depends what shoes. Eleanor. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> That's I what mean, I was getting. If, if they change my track shoes, I'd know. Do you think it's important to look good on the bike? Yeah, I guess in a way, because if you look good, you feel good. Plus, at the end, like you're all sweaty. I mean, I think it's nice. Like, I wear makeup like that because I think it's nice. Like, you come off and you feel disgusting, don't you? Because at least if you wear a bit of makeup, you don't completely look disgusting as well. <laughs> You could never look disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>